Well, it's official. It is season set a match. Knowing this is one of the most roller coaster seasons in the history of the Miami Marlins, and even in my entire life I've ever seen. Got it off to a good start with a nice seven game win streak at the end of April, going into May when we go on the, when after the seven game win streak, we go on a six game losing streak. And one of those losses um, ended up being swept by the Arizona Diamondbacks at home, man, mind you. And then in the Padres season uh, series, where we get where we get walked off by a former Marlin, Jorge Alfaro, in the bottom of the ninth inning with two with two gone with two with two men on with two nothing lead in the bottom of the ninth inning. That was still a distraughtening loss to this day. Thank you very much, um, stupid uh, former Marlin Jorge Alfaro, which I loved you, but now I hate you. And then and then the relief pitching is such a nightmare that they keep blowing games. We end up, we keep losing one run games, and now we're in a scenario, uh, even during the Alcantara's best season in his entire career. We got to the scenario where they're really pitching such a nightmare that they keep blowing games, and then we're at this scenario. Jazz Jason Jr. gets hurt, and now we have a breaking news that just been released today that he is out for six weeks, and I can even find the note here that says he has been. He has not coming back in at least six weeks, and which is the, until the end of August, going towards September, which would be the playoff time. And then we were at the scenario where we were four games out, even as far as close as two games out of the wild card spot, and two games back at the hunt 500. And now, because there's a lower back stress of the jazz, of jazz, the almighty jazz, he is out for six weeks. Couldn't even make it back to the All Star game, and he's not coming back until the end of August and potentially the beginning of September. So you know what this means, folks? It means we ain't making the playoffs once again. It is a false hope of the Miami Marlins again, and incredibly frustrating too because I was actually enjoying Marlins baseball this season. The batting was great, and there was a times where the batting the batting's is now nowhere to be found. Because as a sign of recording, 6.33 p.m. Eastern Time on July 22nd, 2022. We have not scored a run at all in 34 innings. Think about this. 34 innings we have not scored a run at all. And that goes back to last week. Last Friday. I guess the Philadelphia Phillies when Alcantara was the pitcher. So a frustration continues. Uh, at this point, I'm like this... Uh, yeah, you get my points now. Um, and also, we have not hit a home run in the last two weeks. So, so you can say that, Max, folks. Jazz Jason Jr. is not coming back until the end of August. We are done for the season. FL teams, have a good day, everyone. And I hope your team is doing better because you don't want to be in a scenario like I am.